Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, today we're back out in the uh, the, the plastic shop and uh, and we're going to be doing another plastics episode um, obviously but it's not going to be a popular colors um, it's going to be more like uh, custom creations um, so this will kind of be like another sort of small mini series where I'm going to be um, just demonstrating some just ideas in my head um, for what it's worth to try to come up with new things that I haven't seen or maybe you haven't seen and um, you know we'll, we'll see if we can come up with some really cool stuff basically um, so that's what I'm gonna do today it's gonna be like the first edition of custom creations and um, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a split color today and uh, hopefully it turns out well so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, be sure and like and subscribe okay everybody um so today like i said i i want to do like a, a purple and blue themed split color um it's just something that i just kind of had in my head uh that i was like yeah you know maybe that would look good so um this is completely uncharted territory i have no idea if this is going to turn out but even if the color looks like complete garbage we're still going to post the video uh, because you know things don't always turn out in the world of plastics and I think it's important to <laughs> uh, post your failures as well but hopefully we won't have a failure so um, we're gonna do a purple based body but I want it to be super light purple so I'm not putting very much in that's like 12 drops right there or something um, it's gonna be more of a ghost purple um, so, so to speak and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some craws and some flukes and the craw the body is going to be the purple and then the tips of the craws are gonna be like a really thick um, very thick contrasting blue um, so like I said we're not doing very much purple here and um, but on the blue side we are going to do a lot of blue so I have less than a cup measured out because I'm not going to need much blue I'm only doing the tips of the craws and then the uh, tails of some flukes and uh, and I think those will look kind of cool so we're just gonna really squirt squirt some blue in here I want this to be really thick and I may thicken it up with some pearl um, after I cook it I'll just kind of have to see how it looks um, yeah that's looking good i um i don't even know how to pronounce this maybe i should but lure works makes this blue color right here and it is by far my favorite blue that i have found um it's really 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 awesome so that's looking nice and thick and um we're gonna go ahead and add some heat stabilizer especially to the purple side purple seems to uh to fade really easily um something about it it just it doesn't last as long after you reheat it and maybe you know and that could be the plastic that I'm using or it could be the colorant itself not really sure just some colors they just seem to be uh, just uh, super 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 resistant to reheating and then others they fade really easy or they change colors altogether or they cloud up I'm not really sure what it is but uh, that's just kind of one of those uh, things that you have to deal with in plastics so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, degas these and then we'll get back with you. All right, so we have our two colors in the old Provac and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop the lid on, turn it to the on position. I need to make sure that my burp valve is closed. So opening this allows air to go back into the chamber. Um, so that's how you relieve the pressure, so to speak, or the, or the lack of pressure, the vacuum, so that you can remove the lid after it's done. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get these on there and turn it on and then we'll get back with you. So I have both cups in there. Um, one is not a full measuring cup, so we'll just do five minutes um, and, uh, and see what happens. I'm not exactly sure 
if that will uh, if that will do the trick, but it should be close. Quick drum lesson: while the uh, microwave is is cooking the plastic, I'm going to show you a rudiment called a paradiddle, which uh, the sticking is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it's basically single, single, double, and then the inverse: single, single, double. So you put it together: right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Then you speed it up. Really, really, uh, really, really good thing to know if you want to play drums. You can move it around the drum set and you can make some really cool patterns. That's completely irrelevant and I probably won't do this again, but I was bored waiting on the microwave. Okay, so I had my blue cooked up here and uh, I like it. I think I'm gonna add a smidge. That's, that's what we say in the bait world, a smidge of blue powder, of uh, blue pearl powder just to kind of give it a little bit thicker and brighter effect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that powder mixed in. And um, that will kind of really, I think, make it even more of a, um, I can't even think of the word. Oh my gosh, it looks good. I think that will make it even more contrast to, to the rest of the bait. Um, okay, so we're gonna move the camera over. Whoops, sorry guys. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill some molds here. So we're gonna do two flukes real quick. And I only need the, the tails to fill. Then we're gonna do a couple punch bugs. I may have to uh, refill with some more plastic here let me uh let me get back to you after i get those two filled okay so we have all of the molds filled with the first color the blue color that is going to be the tips and the tails so again with doing split tails there's no fun way or easy way to do it but we're gonna go ahead and clip off the tips and i mean we're gonna do literally just the tips here so we're gonna leave about that much in the molds. That'll work for that side. Some molds are easier to do this with than others. Like my swim bait mold's really hard. My fluke mold is really hard. I, I already did those. Um, but this one's a little bit easier to do for demonstration purposes. So now we have to put those back where they belong. Which, like I said, it, it's not really that bad, guys. It's just, um, you know, you don't want to have to make a hundred of these uh, because that's going to take a while. <laughs> All right, so there we go there. Line it up on that side, and it's really important to line them up or else the mold won't close properly, and then you'll have flashing, and you'll probably have some other problems. So there we go. So I'm going to set that aside and then we're going to do the same thing with these two and then we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the purple color. All right, so here is the cooked purple side and it is very, very light purple. Um, it's, it's very see-through and I'm not really sure what I want to do here, but we're going to start with some medium black grape flake, which is basically purple. So that's the 0 0.035, and we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of that just to kind of start and see what we get. And um, like I said, I don't know if this is going, going to turn out very well or not. I've never made anything like this one. So let's kind of really get that mixed in real well. Okay, that's not too bad. It kind of reminds me of the purple side of sprayed grass. And, um, so I wanted to add some hologram glitter, uh, some, some laser glitter, and, uh, and I have this blue color, and I thought that would look cool in there. And this is the small, this is 0 .015. And you have to be really careful, again, this is really heat sensitive, uh, the, the holograph glitter is, but you can see it's really, really, really beautiful stuff. So we're gonna pile that in there. And you, and you want to really keep it at a low temperature, as low as you can get with that. So we're going to mix in the hologram glitter. Hey, 
28, that's not half bad. And then you know what? We're just gonna go with that and we're gonna see what happens, guys. I think that might have a neat effect. It'll certainly be different than anything I've ever made. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw up. Let's try to get a whole injector here. There we go. We're gonna do fluke number one. Hold a little bit of pressure, that way it really fuses well with the uh, blue tips, or the blue tails. Here's fluke number two. And then we're gonna start on the punch bugs. So there's crawl number one, crawl number two, then crawl number three. Then now I'm gonna top off some sprues with what I have left here. I don't have a whole lot left. So just make sure that, that we have enough there. And uh, fingers crossed, guys, this could look really cool or it could look really not cool. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, fluke drum roll, please. Let's see what we have. Whoa, that's different. Tell you what, if I was going for purple, I got it. <laughs> Let's take a look over here. Yeah. There we go. So there is the purple and... So this is purple with purple and hologram blue with a blue tail. That is wicked. I, uh, I almost wish I would have put less flake in it, but um, I don't know if that's coming through very well on camera, but there is a really good contrast between the blue bottom and then the body. Um, so we'll hopefully get some better light on those in a minute, and then we're gonna take a look at the crawls. All right, and here's one of the crawls. One of the, uh, well, stuck to the top there. Hey, check that out. It's not half bad. That's kind of what I was picturing in my mind. It's definitely different. I don't know of any crawfish that look like that in the wild, but that's not always what it's about. That is really neat, actually. You know, I wonder if I could have maybe put some like little silver flake in the blue, in, in the blue uh, claw tips, but that is, that's different. I will say that much. And um, I would totally throw that. I don't know about y'all, but it's, uh, it's different, right? Well, what do you think? I'm hoping that's coming through okay on camera. That is definitely uh, different. And that's kind of the point of this series, you know, I'm, I'm not always going to come up with something that's just mind-blowingly amazing that everyone wants to throw, but you know, this is how colors are developed. I mean, it's, it's really, even the biggest brands, you know, they still have a certain amount of R&D where it's somebody playing around with colors. I mean, you have to try new things and see what you can come up with. Uh, you know, especially us little guys like myself, you know, since we don't have the, the, the cachet of the big brands, we don't have the, you know, the, 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 the 30 years of history behind us, we have to try to make things different and better and keep recreating new colors. And, uh, and that's basically what it takes is somebody just sitting around, putting the time in to come up with new stuff. Sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't. You know, I myself, I wouldn't just go wild over this, but uh, but it's certainly different. And if I saw it in a package, I would definitely pick it up and look at it. You know, I'd be like, "Wow, what was, <laughs> what were those guys thinking? That's really interesting." And who knows? You know, somebody may love it. I may get an order for these. I I, I have no idea, but um, that's kind of what we're doing in this series, and that's not bad. I I wish I would have put less flake in it. It's a little busy. But um, I think we're gonna do a lot more of these types of videos and eventually we're gonna come up with, with some real winners. But this right here isn't a bad start. 
I had been thinking about this color kind of in my mind going, hmm, that could look really, really, really cool. And it does. Um, it's not my personal favorite that I've ever done, but that's how it goes. So this is kind of, uh, this series will be exploring new bait colors uh, with Chris <laughs> for, <laughs> for whatever that's worth. And, uh, and we'll see what we can come up with. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like, like I said, it's kind of a, a new little series, so to speak. Uh, I know I've said that like three or four times, but um, you know, that's one direction I wanna take the channel. Uh, obviously, I, I wanna do as many fishing videos as I can. I wanna do popular colors. I wanna teach new plastics techniques. And then I also want to come up with some new colors with you guys. Um, and just see what we can figure out, you know, because I mean, we can we can develop some really cool stuff. Um, you know, I've been sitting around trying to think of new colors for years, and you know, some of them are great, some of them are not so great. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna film plenty of videos um, doing just that, trying to come up with something new that maybe you haven't seen, that I haven't seen, and uh, hopefully they'll turn out really cool. So that's a uh, that's that's a cool effect. Um, I would actually like to see that in a trick worm. Uh, I think that would probably work better in a trick worm than anything else. So I might have to do some of those here in a little bit with the leftovers. But um, thanks for tuning in today. Um, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you want to see more videos like this where I'm trying to come up with something completely new off the top of my head? Um, we can always go with your input as well. Um, some people, I, I get custom orders every now and then and it's something that the customer came up with and it's like brilliant, you know? And I'm like, man, why couldn't I have thought of that? So, uh, you know, I definitely wanna, wanna tr go, uh, take the channel in this direction as well. Um, we're gonna do a ton more popular colors. That's not going anywhere. And uh, so I think, we can, uh, I think we can come up with some really cool content and, uh, and make some really cool stuff. So thanks for tuning in today. That's gonna wrap it up and we will see you next time on the world's worst fishing.